Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson. At the end of 42 minutes, I can solve double angle trigonometric equations. Let's take a look at the do now. So we have three tan theta is equal to cotangent of theta. So the first thing I'm going to do is change tangent to sine over cosine and cotangent to cosine over sine. Now, because I have two fractions that are equal to each other, I'm going to cross multiply. So 3 sine of theta times sine of theta is 3 sine squared theta. Cosine of theta times cosine of theta is equal to cosine squared theta. Now, I'm going to subtract cosine squared theta to the left-hand side and equal it to 0 in order to be able to factor it. Now, remember that I want to replace cosine squared theta with sines because we can only solve for one trig function at a time. Now remember our Pythagorean identity, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to one. Because I want it in terms of cosine squared theta, I subtracted the sine squared theta over and I got cosine squared theta is equal to one minus sine squared theta. So I replaced this in for cosine squared theta. Now, I then subtracted, so 3 sine squared theta minus 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to 0. Um, I combine like terms, so 3 sine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 4 sine squared theta minus 1 is equal to 0. Now that becomes a dots question, so 2 sine theta plus 1, 2 sine theta minus 1. You tee it off, sine of theta is equal to negative 1 half and sine of theta is equal to 1 half. Now, if you look at the interval from the question, I'm only looking at the first two quadrants between 0 degrees and 180 degrees. So negative signs are in quadrant 3 and 4, so that's not in our domain, so we don't care about this. However, sine of theta is equal to 1 half. We know that our reference angle is 30, therefore 180 minus 30 gives you 150, so my two answers are 30 degrees and 150 degrees. Okay, let's resume with the first example when solving double angle trigonometric equations. So I have my question of cosine of 2a is equal to negative 3 sine of a minus 1. So notice I have cosine of 2a, so I need to look at my reference sheet to determine which formula I'm going to substitute. Um, I chose the 1 minus 2 sine squared of a to replace in for cosine of 2a because I want it in terms of sine so I could solve for sine. So after I replace it in, I make sure I have it so I'm able to factor it. If you so choose, I also wrote how to factor it with replacing sine of a with x. I then grouped them together, and made sure that the binomials match, which they do. So in the end, I'm left with negative 2 sine of a minus 1 times sine of a minus 2 is equal to 0. I then get sine of a is equal to 1 over negative 2, and sine of a is equal to 2. Now I reject the 2 because it's outside of the domain and the range, so we reject this. I only focus on this. Now remember, if sine is negative, I'm only concerned with the third and fourth quadrants. My reference angle is 30, so therefore I do 180 plus 30 is equal to 210, and 360 minus 30 is equal to 330 degrees. If we look at the next question, example 2, we have cosine 2 theta is equal to cosine theta plus 2. And we want to find all values of theta in the interval of 0 degrees, 360 degrees. So same idea as the previous question. We want to figure out which formula to replace cosine of 2 theta with. Notice we're in terms of cosine. So I replace um, cosine of 2 theta with 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. I use the distributive property, and then again, just like the last question, I can either continue using the cosine squared theta or cosine theta, or you can change it to x values if it's easier for you to factor. Again, we use the AM method with grouping, and I end up getting 6x plus 5 times x minus 1 is equal to 0, which is the same thing as 6 cosine theta plus 5 times cosine theta minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, 
solve for cosine by itself. You get cosine theta is equal to negative 5 over 6. Put that in your calculator, and you get approximately 146. And we know that cosine of theta is equal to 1 is 0 degrees. Now, this 146 is one of my solutions along with the 0. But now remember that if cosine is negative, we are in the second quadrant and the third quadrant. So the angle that's in the third quadrant would be the 214. If you notice here, I used this graph here, figuring out that if 146 was my angle, 34 degrees would be my reference angle, again, in the second quadrant and the third quadrant, and I end up getting 214 degrees. Again, feel free to pause the video anytime so you can look and read over the math. Let's continue with example three. We want to find the nearest degree, all values of theta in the interval zero to 360. That satisfy the equation three cosine two theta plus sine theta minus one is equal to zero. Again, same idea. We want to replace in cosine of two theta with one of the formulas. We pick the one that has the sine with it. So I can solve for sine of theta. So distribute. Then again, you have to factor. So this time I didn't use the x and said sine of theta is equal to x. I just solved with sines of theta. You can pull out the negative, but you don't have to. I did in this case. I was able to factor by grouping. I end up getting 2 sine of theta plus 1 times 3 sine of theta minus 2 is equal to 0. I solved and I got sine of theta is equal to negative 1 half. Sine of theta is equal to 2 over 3. Now, we notice that sine is negative and positive, which means we need to find four different angles, one in each quadrant. Remember, the first quadrant, sine is positive. The second quadrant, sine is positive. But the third and fourth, it's negative. So I use my reference angle to assist me. So because sine of theta is equal to negative 1 half, the reference angle is 30. 180 plus 30 is 210. 360 minus 30 is 330. So those are the negatives. Whereas for the second one, sine of theta is equal to 2 thirds. Used my calculator. Second sine, 2 divided by 3, approximately get 42. So that's in the first quadrant. To get the second quadrant angle, 180 minus 42, and you get 138. So you have four particular angles for this question. And lastly, we have example four, three cosine of two theta plus two sine of theta plus one is equal to zero. We need to find all values of theta in the interval of zero to 360. So again, same idea. Um, I need to replace cosine two theta because I'm in terms of sine. I chose one minus two sine squared theta. I factored. Remember, I grouped them together, made sure my binomials match. And then I solved for sine of theta. So sine of theta is equal to 4 over 6, simplified to 2 thirds. Second sine of 2 thirds divided in your calculator, you get approximately 42 degrees. Now remember, sine is negative in the second quadrant. But we're looking for a positive, so forget what I just said. I'm looking for a positive here. So that means 42 stays. Now sine of theta is equal to 1, which is 90 degrees. And then in the second quadrant, it's positive. So you have to do 180 minus 42 is equal to 138. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on Teams under chat. Hope this was helpful. Have a great day. Day.